Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait's up. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marshall Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Harris, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just fitting the last security brace. Come find me when you've shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Every creak and... Just hurry the fuck up, will you? Harris, it's Turner. Had to deal with that wasted asshole again. This time, he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. Hello? I want to make a complaint. To the, the highest authority, okay? My name is Zachary Watson. That's Watson. You get that? My complaint is this. Fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Something's on this station with us and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked down. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified, man. I'm fucking... Shit. It's so cold. I don't think this fucking thing even works. Interview subject, heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're going to be here a hell of a long time. I just want to know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's going to be accountable. I'm going to make damn sure someone's accountable. No? Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. Marie, listen to me very carefully. I want you to leave work now. Collect Claire, pick up the cat, and head home. We need to find some place safe till Seeks and send a ship. I saw the guy from down the hall. I can't remember his name. The one in the dirty baseball cap, weird smell. He had something in his coat. I think it was a gun. He just looked right through me. Don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. I'll meet you as soon as I can. Message from Marshal Waits. This is Chief Porter in tech support. Look, there's nothing on this flight recorder, Waits. We've broken God knows how many corporate confidentiality agreements and come up with zip. Nothing except the Wayland yutani logo and an empty readout. Now, these things are built to last. So either someone on board the Nostromo asked its mother corps to wipe it clean, or somehow the data's been corrupted before it got here. Care to fill me in on why this was a priority job?
Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to seek some communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. <clears throat> Please understand, this is our best shot. Someone has got to re-establish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. <laughs> Don't worry about me, but I'll be back. I'm not going to leave you and Claire alone. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland yutani bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. This is Verlaine on the Torrens. What the hell just happened? Sevastopol! Did any of our EVA team make it on board? Please respond. We've taken damage in the explosion and are pulling out of Sevastopol space. Systems will be down while we repair. I can't say for how long. This is Waits, Colonial Marshal at Sevastopol Station. We have a serious situation here. Non-local comms are down and we need you to send out an emergency message. Do you read me? Repeat. Our ranged communications are down and we need help. Stand off and send help. Sevastopol, this is Wayland Utani Executive Administrator Nina Taylor, confirming receipt of your transmission. I'm a member of the team assigned to collect the Nostromo flight recorder. The black box in your possession is of primary importance to Wayland Utani. Under existing corporate agreements, we should remind you that you must not attempt to read its contents, nor disclose its presence to any third parties. We'll be with you soon. A private message for Marshal Waits will follow. I don't take kindly to be left out of the loop, Morley. You hear me? I tried to use the dispensary today and found I was locked out. I can't possibly be expected to carry out my duties if you and Lingard cut my access privileges. I have patients who will relapse without that medication, particularly when things on the station are so precarious. I will not see patient care suffer. Consider this a formal warning. And for the record, I do not have a problem. Coleman, out. Dr. Morley, this is Marshal Waits. Make sure all your patients are prepped for the decommission. That means full documentation, personal effects, and any meds they'll need during the journey. I'm scheduling shuttles to transfer them to the medical ship for transportation. I strongly recommend placing the more volatile patients into early hypersleep prior to transfer. I don't want to hear your complaints. I don't have the manpower to guarantee protection for everyone if any of them decide to kick off. Farms or hypersleep, I don't care. Just get them subdued. That's just the way it's got to be. Waits up. Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Sikhs and Chief Executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh, well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshal Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? 
not as much as your old friend here, and I bet he wouldn't be as understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. Turner, we've had something go down here in San Cristobal. Tape off the scene and make sure it's not touched until Garcia comes in with forensics. Keep this quiet for now. I want total silence. Last thing this station needs is a panic. And one other thing. If I find out who leaked this to Ransom, I'll make them eat their fucking badge. He turned up, quoted Sikhs and privileges, and had a ringside seat for the whole goddamn mess. This is a serious incident. I don't need Ransom making it more complicated. Do you read me? Wait, up. Morley, it's Lingard. After the incident, the marshals want us to rope off medical. They're bringing in a team to find whatever it was the patient was carrying. I told them it was fast, but they're convinced they can trap it. They've got nets. I'll set up a temporary medical center outside. You're in charge for now. Don't let Coleman Sweet talk his way in. The last thing we need is him self-medicating with Marshal Waits around. Smythe, I've been looking over your report on the Wayland yutani androids and your proposals for improving the working Joes. Now, I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. Yours is full of extrapolations and estimations. Mine has an executive suite and $8,000 suits. Bottom line is, I gotta look after the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Find a way to bring these costs down, huh? Ransom out. Smythe, have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? We need to impress. Noise from upstairs says they're the last potential bidders for Sevastopol's working Joe rollout. If they go with Wayland yutani castoffs instead, the job seeks and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. Spreading out. Smythe, it's spedding. You knew full well that these guys were the last bidders for Sevastopol's Apollo system. And you totally fucked the android presentation. They're not interested. So no bonus for me, no half share for you, and God only knows what it means for the suits upstairs. That's got me pissed. But you know what's getting me even more pissed? I have to stay on Sevastopol to oversee the synthetic shutdown while you go home. Don't have nightmares on the trip back, jackass. This is a message for all members of the Sikhs and security team. There's been an altercation in the space flight terminal. Waits doesn't have our back. As of right now, no one hired as Sikhs and security is going on shift. We're cutting ties with the marshals and everyone else on station. It's time to take care of our own. I'm gonna find some place safe for everyone to hold up. Money's dried up here. We don't owe these people nothing. Guys, it's Sinclair. We need supplies. Take what you can from whoever you want. I found an area in habitation where we can seal ourselves in and wait for rescue. I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators. Plan is to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary. But we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive, there's no room for pity. Chief here. As requested, I've resubmitted my report for the removal of the transit system for use elsewhere once Sevastopol's been closed off. I still don't see how it's possible. 
I know Seekson is trying to recoup as much investment as it can on this place, but the thing is trashed. Junctions have rusted through. Major safety protocols have been ignored for years. It's a wreck. Nothing short of a miracle has stopped it killing off half the population. I am recording this for anyone else who was away when it happened. I can't tell who escaped. There are some boys, but the others were taken through the vents, one by one. The doors were locked, but the ceiling vents were open. There was no way to run and no one to let them out. It was like a fox dropping into a hen house. I should move on. There is a camp of survivors who still trust the marshal in the mall. And then there's a Sinclair and his idiot man with guns somewhere in habitation. But I doubt either will last a week. Hughes, it's Ransom. I just got your query. Yes, I have been in our transmission relay archive, and I've done some decrypting. I'm looking for crew logs that passed through Sevastopol a while ago. I know you're concerned, but it's ancient history. It's just some stuff I need to know. A routine company transmission packet sent from the edge of Thetis before a ship started a trip home. Nothing that's going to break anything. Still, no one else needs to know about it, right? If you talk... Well, there'll be consequences. I mean, there's plenty Marie doesn't know, right? Leave them decoding and let me know when they're done. We can keep this civil. Seeks an executive ransom here. I'm sending over some samples for investigation. I want the minimum number of employees on this. Keep it on the down low and report only to me. If any of this gets out, I'll make sure your career dies with Sevastopol. There are a lot of inconsistencies in Gemini's ledgers. Do right by me, and I'll remember you. Whatever you're skimming now will seem like chicken feed. Do the smart thing. I don't know when anyone will get this, but someone needs to keep a record, and I don't know. I came here a few months ago to write about the collapse of a dream, a future gone sour. For me, the people here were little more than footnotes for my article. Something to tug at the heartstrings. And when the disappearances started, oh, I was thrilled. This was something big. But now people are afraid, and a communication fault means we're alone. I'm trapped here, just like everybody else. Another footnote. Another victim. I have been camped out in Galleria Mall for maybe... 24 hours. The people here, they're scared. But they still believe that Marshal Waits will kill the creature. They forget other dangers. They forget themselves. People are turning on each other for food, for water. I cannot stay here. Meeks, I'm leaving this for you when you wake up. I know that you're still all over the place after that thing came out of Foster, but you've got to stop fucking up like this. You got way too drunk. 
and told those people sleeping in the mall way too much. I dragged you away when I saw the look in their eyes. We can't go back there again. No one can know we're connected to Marlo and the Anisadora. I'll come back once you've dried out. Wait, it's Dr. Lingard. I've just examined a patient with, well, I've never seen anything like it. Some kind of unknown parasite. I did a quick check on the name they gave me, and there's no one registered under it at Sevastopol. I think she came on board recently. Do you know anything about this? I have no idea what Sinclair and his men were doing, but this should have been picked up during quarantine. Who knows what else they've let through? The patient and her captain are waiting for me in the examination room. Get down here now. This is Seeks and Executive Ransom speaking. I just woke up to find a working Joe in my suite, and when I asked what the hell it was doing, it lunched for me. I had to leave my own fucking apartment. Send your best technicians to Apollo Core and find out what the hell is going on. Now! Get those things under control. I want a full report ASAP. This is spreading in Android processing. We've got a situation. There's white on red casualties on station. I've just had an Android report to the APTC with head trauma. But he's covered in blood. Human blood. I've alerted the marshals, put my secretary someplace safe, and right now, I'm headed for the transit. I'm gonna get a working Joe to consult Apollo. Maybe it knows who the hell is to blame for this. I've come over to Apollo to find out what sent the synthetics crazy. This place has gone to hell. Apollo's redirected core android duties, and they've just walked away from the maintenance we requested after we got the news. Coolant's everywhere, gas has escaped, and the primary access lift has shut itself down. I flagged the help request, but apparently I'm 45th in line. Systems are suddenly obsessed with hazard containment. I'm gonna find a way down. Spitting out. Hey, it's Chief. There's something wrong with your synthetics. The team I requisitioned to acid strip lower habitation just stopped in their tracks. They barked something about a hazard containment order, tried to get into my control booth, and then just marched off. I know I always complain about those spooky bald bastards, but now I've got proof their wiring's faulty. I've got a meeting with your boss Spedding tomorrow, and I'm going to kick some ass. So when he starts kicking your ass, well, it's coming from me. This is Seeks and Executive Ransom reporting into the board. You sons of bitches. I was loyal to you, and you cheap bastards left me twisting in the wind. I was gonna give you the fine of a lifetime. I was willing to risk my life for the company. I could have called in a special team, secured the specimen, and we all would have been happy, but Apollo has got all communications. None of the technicians in Apollo Corps are answering my messages. We're all dying here, you bastards. You threw it all away. Fuck you, and fuck your company. Fuck you! I'm in Apollo. There are androids at the door. Ransom's nowhere to be seen. There are conflicts with the hazard containment breach. Synthetic safety procedures are getting bypassed left and right. Comms are offline. I thought it was random, but I'm not so sure. Oh God, I'm gonna get in. Tell Suzanne I love her.
Chief here. Something weird's happening. Synthetics are on the fritz, so I found some guys to help me out. I sent one of them into a manufacturing room, but he never came out. Every door is locked, and he sure as hell couldn't fit through the air vent without a fight. We don't know what to do. It doesn't seem right to keep working without looking for him, but there's nowhere to look. Our ship's over soon. I'll report the incident to Waits and the Marshals. I saw it. It had its back to me, walking down a corridor like it was the most natural thing in the world. I hid, but when I looked up, it wasn't there. I think it went into the floor, maybe the ceiling. Sevastopol's a maze. Could be living anywhere. This must be what the marshals have been chasing. This shouldn't have been kept from me. Chief out. Dr. Lingard, my name is Julia Jones, and I'm a writer covering Sevastopol's decommissioning. I was hoping to interview you about your experiences on the station. You know, the limited medical resources, the mental effects on patients in deep space, that kind of thing. But look, Doctor, I've heard there was some kind of incident in the hospital recently. No one seems to know anything. Doctor, if there's a major public health issue here on Sevastopol, people need to know. I'm freelance. Unbiased. I don't have any corporate affiliations. Let me be a friend to you. Call me. I think we may have broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisadora is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Then we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship, the Nostromo, Wayland yutani property. That means there'll be a reward. <laughs> but then Marlowe had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky. Found a distress signal, and now we're following it. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. We're outside Sevastopol. Milo and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But, well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Milo's ship. She's Milo's wife. And things got heated. And Meeks got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to normal. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Milo doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise. Anisadora, this is Marshal Waits of Sevastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sevastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sevastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. Waits up. Axel's journal entry 340. Right. Got to be quiet now. I found a small hideaway in the space flight terminal. Not exactly five star, but it's cozy enough. I filled a bag with essentials and picked up a few things on the way, making sure I didn't run into anyone. Too many people with guns on Sevastopol now. Shooting at shadows. I mean, I have one myself, but I'm not fucking insane. At least, here it's secluded, and I'm close to the terminal. So if there is a chance of a ship arriving, I'll get a front seat. This is Sinclair. You guys took too long down there. I had to power down this facility and take the last transit. We can't afford to keep the sanctuary wide open. All it'll take is one creature to get in and all the supplies and weapons we've taken will come to jack shit. Me and mine are gonna sit this out till the rescue comes. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but when you started chasing after a ship that'll never come, you broke with the plan. Sinclair out. I got here when they were sealing the sanctuary. I don't know what I expected. Maybe they changed their mind and let me in. Maybe they shoot me dead. They shut the door in my face. I can hear movements from the floor below me. I haven't got long. Sinclair and his people have Sevastopol's food supplies and much of its weaponry. But I heard the voices of children too. I'd wondered where the children had gone. Perhaps they can keep these monsters from them. I hope they do. If you're listening to this, and you're on the team, we've sealed the habitation sanctuary. There's one way in, one way out. I've still got raiding parties heading out to loot supplies and weapons, but it looks like we shut it off just in time. The Sikhs and synthetics have started moving away from their stations. I've seen a trail of strangled bodies in public areas. So, be aware. Oh, and if you're listening to this and you're not on the team, don't come find us. We will shoot. Last will and testament of some fuck you don't give a shit about. We couldn't keep them out. My wife is dead. My children have been taken. I tried, but I couldn't stop them. They broke through our defenses. There's, there's so much blood on my hands. This is for the rescue party, for Siegsen, or I don't know, whoever has to clean up this mess. We held out in here as long as we could. You didn't come fast enough. You fucked it. Just send in the marines or blow this place up. Take these creatures back to hell. This is Captain Dallas logging an initial report from the return leg of our Thetis voyage. Uh, when we get back home, I want a meeting with a shipping coordinator. My usual science officer has been replaced. No reason given. The new guy is more than capable, I'm sure, but only getting two days' notice for this kind of thing is crazy. I'd just like an explanation. We'll be ready for our load when we get the call. Dallas, Nostromo Captain, signing off. Science officer's initial log. I've been installed on board the Nostromo. All the relevant paperwork has been signed, and I have access to the ship's mother 6000 mainframe. Captain Dallas and the executive officer seem put out by my appearance, but that's perhaps to be expected. All that's left is to hope for a productive journey. Ash, signing off. This is Lambert confirming the delayed pickup of the refinery we're taking back to Earth. I've entered initial coordinates for the edge of the Epsilon reticuli using the established haulage route. My next entry will be confirmation of our flight plan to the Sol system. Lambert, out. Ripley's asked me to lie a report on what happened to the umbilicus when we hooked onto the refinery. I'll tell you what happened. Me and Brett were holding the place together with our bare hands. You'd think millions of tons of oil would get someone from the front deck, someone on a full share down here with us, you know, checking up on the stuff we need. You want to get out of the system on schedule next time? You put the Nostromo in dry dock for a month. You wait till we're done with it. You pay what we're due. Park her out. Sounds like the system check went okay. Some ducks still need rerouting, but as I keep getting told, there's not much we can do about it whether Nostromo is in the air. Parker's coming up with the sign-off sheets. But I know Ripley wants to chew his ear about the secondary load unit. I'm gonna stay out of it for now. They know what they're doing. Dallas, Nostromo captain, signing off. 
right into the edge of the system. Ripley's giving me a list of stuff she says needs doing. Says mother's not going to let us hit the gas if we don't fix the secondary load unit. Hell of a lot of work for a routine flight. Dallas, if you somehow found the time in your schedule to listen in on this, Brett and me, we're doing double time. If you don't come good with a bonus, we'll be taking it to the union. Right. Finishing up here. Kane asked if we could fix it so the heating came on before we get out of the old freezer radios. <laughs> Parker said, no way, not our job. Next, he'll be asking for monogram towels and a massage. So we didn't do that. We told him that. Brett, over and out. This is Lambert, navigator on the USCSS Nostromo. Registering that all navigation beacons and soul system coordinates have now been verified by Mother. Antarctica traffic control will get our call on October 22nd, or a few hours on either side. Signing off. Three hypersleep health checks have been performed on the entire crew, including, after some persistence from the engineer's staff, the ship's cat. Everyone regular, present, and correct. I sat out in the report I've just logged with Mother. I have a little more work to do setting up my equipment and initializing systems, but otherwise, we're ready to go. This is Dallas. I'm about to broadcast the Nostromo report packet back to the Sol system before we hit the pods. The nearest open relay station looks to be Sevastopol. Um, all things being well, you'll hear from us once we reach the edge of Sol. Don't miss us too much. Dallas out.